Get out of the car. Pull it to, I got the car in drive. Get out of the car. I got the car in park. Park. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. Why would you do that to a 17 year old? What's up, Hey! You better get your fing hands off my daughter. You're gonna go into handcuffs too if you do not back, back up. Davis 167, please back up. The 17 year old girl was just trying to get home from school, but this gang of cops pulled him over, manhandled the 17 year old girl as well as her stepdad, turned their car upside down, ransacked it looking for drugs that didn't exist, and then when they didn't find anything, trumped up charges. This video is yet another video showing cops being allowed to completely run wild, not having to wear uniforms, driving unmarked cars, pulling people over based on a hunch, completely in violation of the Fourth Amendment, and then acting like complete assholes when they're caught on video doing it. This video is from the Real News Network, and it's actually a fantastic video full of interviews, and I will link it in the first pinned comment below. This woman, Jennifer Kretschmann, is a Sacramento School District social worker. She was at work. She received a sudden frantic call from her 17-year-old daughter. Her daughter informed her that there was this black SUV with tinted windows following her and her stepfather as her stepfather drove her home from school. Jacob started noticing this black SUV um, with guys in baseball cap or caps. Like one, like I want to say some had them forward and some had them backward. Um, and he swears he could see the barrel of a gun. And so then she's like, I'm calling mom. So the stepfather's driving home his 17 year old stepdaughter from school. There's a black SUV behind them. And now it appears to be pulling them over, but it doesn't look like a police car. They see people with um, backwards ball caps and possibly a gun. This is Sacramento. There's some concern. Maybe, maybe it's a carjacking, something else other than police. The 17 year old calls her mom. The mom says, you're almost to my job. Just pull into my, my parking lot. And if it's police, no big deal. If it's carjackers, maybe they won't want to do that in a crowded public parking lot. But that's not what ends up happening. The cops basically quickly pull in front of this vehicle, jump out, guns drawn. And this is what happens. I'm trying to pull into what my wife's work stop. right here, man. Hey, officer, Get out of the car. To pull into, oh, I got the car and drive. Get out of the car. I got the Put car in and drive. I'm a minor. I'm a minor. I got Get the out of the yes, car. Yes, sir. I'm coming out. What, what do I do, man? What, I, I'm just trying to come to my wife. Put your hand behind your back. I can't. I got a Put bad bag. Put your hand behind your back. I got a bad bag, man. Don't uh, resist. Oh. Yes, sir. What am I doing? I just wanted to get to my wife's work. Well, that was stupid. What? Turn around and stand up. Is this your wife or your daughter? She's 17 years old, man. Well, then stop acting like an idiot. Dude, if I'm coming to my wife's work. Now you're going to jail. She's 17 now years old, man. Now you're going to jail. Why would you do that to a 17 year old? What the fuck is my You know, there's nothing more that triggers cops than when they think that you have not immediately stopped for their traffic stop. That then turns into a pursuit, which in their mind, that's the reason they work for very little pay because they think it's an, an exciting job filled with this power trip and they get to do these exciting things. Well, really the only exciting thing that they like to do is engage in these pursuits, but at the same time it triggers them because they perceive this, you know, you disrespected my authority. If a pursuit happens, at least in their mind, even if it in reality has not happened, they're going to go ballistic when they catch you. And we saw this the other day in the video I did that's up to however many million views. How similar is this actually? That was the Indiana case of the cop from the small town there who got really triggered because the 16 year old girl, again, on her way home from school, I believe, didn't immediately stop, but rather pulled into this gas station. And by the way, I was a prosecutor in North Carolina. And one of the questions that the judges used to ask is, did the subject pull to pull over to a safe and appropriate location? There never was any requirement that you have to immediately pull over no matter where you are. You're allowed to, I mean, you are, you've not been convicted of a crime. You are a free American citizen. You're allowed to pull to what you think is a safe and reasonable and appropriate location, just in general terms. 
But cops hate that. Oh, they hate that. They want immediate compliance. And that's what that's where we start off with this video is that the cops think that there has been this um, perceived lack of immediate compliance and they go ballistic just step one. Doesn't matter if you're 17 years old, they are going to get violent with you, even if you put up no resistance and you're not a threat to them at all. It's based on your past conduct in their eyes and not any sort of immediate threat to them at the scene. And I'm not advocating for what happened here. I think the proper course of action is if you're being pulled over by an unmarked vehicle and you're unsure whether or not it's police, don't call your, your significant other. Call 911. Verify that with 911 first. But in this case, because they were heading for the mom slash fiance's place of work, looks like they were pretty much right there when this happened. So she comes out from her place of work with her cell phone and she begins to video what happens. This preserves some really important evidence for us to look at after the fact to analyze what violations of the Constitution these cops engaged in. Hey, you better get your f***ing hands off my daughter. Stay right there. If you ever you're touch gonna my go daughter again, too. you're going to go into handcuffs too if you do not back Bachelor. up. Davis 167, please back up. Please back up. That is my daughter. Don't touch me. Please back up or you're going to go into cuffs too. Do not touch me. see what's happening. Do you want me to tell you? Please do, but I would like to check here. on my child. She's fine. Let's go over here. I just watched her get yanked okay, out. She's 17. She'll be 18 in December. Okay. She goes to the Met. So listen, listen. They're conducting a traffic stop in the car. The car was not stopping for probably traffic the last two miles. Why? I don't know. They have no right to no, be in my car. No, nothing. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. What do you need? I, who are you? I'm the supervisor right now. Who are okay, you? what's your name and badge number? I'm Johnson Citizen 2, so your car is going to get towed today. Again? Your car's going to get towed Why? today, and your daughter and your husband are going to jail. What else do you want to know? My daughter is 17, I don't and care. you don't have a right to take she her to jail. She resisted arrest, and, and she's going to go to jail for arrest. You, for, no, I absolutely no, can. No, why would, you, absolutely why can. would you arrest her? Why would I not? She resisted she's arrest. She's 17. No, you have to have a reason to arrest her. You understand your husband a lawful reason and your daughter to arrest her. just ran from police for the they last seven not. miles? They didn't? Run? So the, the camera wouldn't lie? What do you mean, run? We have been let, I just them watched up, you pull my conducting child. the traffic stop for the last seven miles. What? They did not pull seven over. Seven miles? Why yeah. did he say two? The car was not stopping for probably the last stop. two miles. Why? I don't know. I, I so don't know. get your story Talk to me. straight. I'm the one that pulled her over. So talk to me. No, you weren't. I watched this dude with the beard pull her out of the car. Which is in my vehicle. So get your facts straight if you're going to talk okay. about it. I watched the dude with the beard. Perfect. He's okay? with me. That's the fact. Okay, so and your that's daughter is going to go to jail. My daughter's 17. Do not touch 17 year olds her. can go to jail. For what? For resisting. Resisting what? You had no reason to grab her out of the car. Okay. I know my rights we'll, and we'll I discuss. know her rights. Okay. We uh, can discuss whatever you want, but you're wrong and you know it. No, I'm not. So Yes, again, you are again, and you know it. Again. Because again, this is a complaint thank you, against thank you. you for we, touching. Who we, is we, driving my car? I incur your husband. What is happening right now? That's getting towed. That's yeah. leaving. Yeah. My car is why? Well, if you want to tell me how the law goes, you should already know why. I don't have any understanding. I only know you want my to come daughter over here says and there's a bunch of cops. Be yeah, in regards to what I we were doing, you rip my daughter out you of the car. You watched me. I watched the gentleman with the beard, and you know okay. what I'm talking about. Okay. But you talking to me this way, you're here to protect and serve. I'm here working. I get a phone call from my daughter. You should have a frantic. good conversation with your husband then. Okay, I'm driving have a the way that you're driving with your daughter in the car. If that's what you're concerned what was about. What's he driving like? I don't even know. We have literally been trying to pull him over for the last seven miles. He is not pulling over. If the car was not stopping for probably the last two miles. Why? I don't know. It's called a pursuit. What He's happened running from with officers. my daughter, though? She resisted getting out of the vehicle. Did you I see guns care. pointed Why at your vehicle? You? Did you see I guns pointed at your vehicle? I couldn't. I was too far away. Okay, so you didn't see the whole thing going <laughs> no, out, correct? No, my child's out here. So are you showing up late to the game? Can we put, can we make that I want clear? you to stop talking to me like I'm okay, an idiot I'm because I'm here. not. This is a perfect representation of how government employees will treat you and your family if allowed to run wild with zero accountability because government detests you. And the people that like these jobs and want to act that, that way, they will detest you. They will treat you like garbage, just like this so-called supervisor is treating this woman. He's treating her with disrespect. He's being snarky. He's being rude. He's treating her with disdain. He's lying to her. 
and he tells her that, okay, this is your car, haha, ha, I'm going to tow it now, even though you're right here, and you could take possession of it. No, to, to punish you, because you have such an awful 17-year-old daughter and fiancé slash husband, we are going to punish you. We are going to cause you the most trouble that we can cause you. That's what he's doing, and they're not done. Obviously, they're going to charge this, this girl with resisting arrest when she had committed no crime. She wasn't driving the car. She's 17 years old. All she said was, I'm a minor, I'm a minor. Then they yanked her out of the car. Okay, yeah, she, she resisted this gang of armed thugs with tattoos all down their arms, with badges. I mean, how many of them are there? Yeah, she resisted them. Of, of course she resisted them. Give me a break. They're liars. They just yanked her out of the car because they're drama queens. And now they're going to trump up any kind of charges that they can, even if she's 17 years old. And now they're going to search the car because they have to find something in the car to just really stick it to these people. Narcan. She might have dope on her. You might have had her stuff to dope somewhere. I'll get under that dash on that side real good because she you can see that she was moving around uh making those furtive movements under her. Oh, 100 percent You guys want me to yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> we stop the trunk. Is there a female coming so we can search her? <laughs> they got a bunch of burnt foil and then uh, white powder falling out. Where? Right here. Under the dash, yeah. No, and, and out of this. So all that just fell out of here. That was what was shoved between the seat. Yeah, it's so in that all envelope. the dopes in the envelope. Yeah. What is it? And then looks like Fetty. Is it? Or Coke? Probably. All right, so both of you that thing. All right, she didn't have nothing on her. I just searched her. Huh? I just searched her. Okay. She didn't have nothing on her. He was trying to hide this in. All right, do you want me to close your truck? In the back. Oh yeah, it's wrapped up in one of these pieces of paper. Is that Fetty or Coke, he says. Notice that they are playing for their body cams. They're pretending like they're finding drugs in this vehicle of this girl being driven home from school. Yet they have all these cameras everywhere and they're trained to document evidence, preserve evidence. And you can't see this mysterious white powder anywhere on their body cams. Why? Because they're liars. All right, so both of you can go for that too, then. All right, she didn't have nothing on her. I just searched her. Huh? I just searched her. Okay. She didn't have nothing on her. Looks like Xanax. Here, look under the seat on this side again, under, though, because he was he shoved, this notebook was like hella shoved all the way down. In there? On that side, driver's side. You've already found it over here? Yeah, I already pulled it out. Looks like it might be Xanax. Yeah, if you look, there's any bars in there too. It's wrapped up in that Inside, yellow notepad paper. You see anything there? Is he, is he on status or anything? Olsen, I don't know. They have an ID to me. Well, what the fuck are they doing? You get her ID. Somebody moved it on top of this seat. So where, where did this notepad come from originally? Stuffed, stuffed oh, in, the, in, in the side. Driver side. Driver side. It was stuffed in between the, the seat and this uh, center island. Run these two names. Jacob Palkovic. That's the driver. BJ. What? He's got mail for uh, in his name inside of here. Okay. Put it on my camera. And foil. And burnt foils. Did you open that up? Were they Zanny bars? They look like Zanny bars. So after ransacking the car and finding nothing, though pretending and playing for the cameras like they found something, 
the supervisor, and doesn't he look like a really sweet guy? He says something basically unintelligible to the other officers, and boom, guess what? Body cam goes off. I am. I'm on. So let's recap. 17 year old girl just wants to get home from school. Her stepdad picks her up. They're driving home from school. They committed no crimes. Um, we're selling no drugs, robbed no banks, as far as I know. Then this group of cops with nothing to do, apparently, they see maybe her stepdad. He has some neck tattoos, whatever. I'm just guessing here because it doesn't really make sense otherwise. So this is not just some random traffic stop. They saw somebody go left of center. The tent was too dark, whatever. For some reason, this gang unit got behind this car. So she did not make it home to school. Instead, just like the girl in Indiana, she's violently pulled out of her car, probably thrown on the ground. And now she's being dragged into the criminal justice system along with her stepdad. They had committed no crime. They were completely innocent. If we didn't see it on the body cam footage, as far as I'm concerned, it didn't exist. It didn't happen. They saw what he looked like. They saw his neck tattoos or whatever. And they got a hunch. Just like the other videos that we see, these cops think that they are so smart when they're not. They're really dumb. They get a hunch. And when that hunch turns out to be wrong, they don't just say, they don't just apologize and let you go. They double down. They turn your car upside down, looking for anything and everything. They say you resisted and they charge you with assaulting police officers, all sorts of stuff. They probably throw whatever at you they can. I'm sure they're doing that to these individuals. As in all these cases, they need to beat those criminal charges. And when they do, I hope they sue the hell out of them. By the way, if somebody can decipher that Latin tattoo, I'd love to know. Um, best as I can tell, it makes absolutely no sense to me. There's other footage out there of these cops. It reminds me of the cops I dealt with in West Virginia that snuck in my client's window and they thought that they'd find drugs inside. Instead, they found his dead buddy's ashes. Anyways, there are videos on that um, back in the channel if you want to watch those. So if you have an update on this or other instances involving these cops, please send them my way. Remember, our rights don't end where your fear begins. Freedom is scary. Deal with it. Thank <laughs> you.